more Costco shit. So let me start off while I'm uh, pulling into the parking lot. And I'm getting right in front of the store, you know, kind of Grand Central Station there where everyone's moving and so forth. Which I hate to cross, but because I ate gas, it forced me in that direction. But that's a different story. And there's a lady in the middle of this fucking busiest intersection at Costco. She's going through her wallet trying to get a Costco card so she can come, you know, show it to the guy. It's like, this is the wrong fucking place. You know, this is... I'm just like, what the hell's going on? And there's a guy coming from the other direction. And then there's another guy coming in from another direction. Because all roads lead to the center. And everyone's watching this lady go through her purse. And she can't find it, of course. Well, um, and we're all just sitting there. And finally, I start honking. I'm like, move it, you fucking... You nice little lady. And she gives me a dirty look. How am I to blame here? How can I be to blame for this? You're the one who's fucking pulling a moronic move. Have some courtesy. The world does not revolve around you. So that was my first issue at Costco. And then I had the Costco dilemma, which isn't really much of a bitch, but it's just a point that I think everyone has ever um, has faced. I need packing tape. I need packing tape to send back an Amazon uh, box or an Amazon product. Ran out of it. And at Costco, for six rolls, it's like $17, $18. Now, if you go to the store, you're going to pay probably between 4 and $5. So, for essentially the price of three and a half rolls, you're getting six rolls. Now, I might go through a packing tape maybe two to three rolls a year, if lucky. So, I don't need all those rolls. But at the same time, it's such a great deal. And, uh, you know, I will, like I said, throughout the year, we'll go through two to three of these. So, um, I sucked it up and, and I bought it. You know, yay, consumerism. Sorry about the environment. Uh, but uh, I saved a little money. That's all I got. I haven't had much lately. I know people. But ever since I left my job, I, um, I don't have anything to complain about. My complaints are really Costco grocery store, lights, and even that isn't bad. Now that I'm not in rush hour anymore, you know, people drive slow, but it doesn't bother me because I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere. Except don't stop in the middle of the fucking Costco parking lot during where all the roads come together and start looking for your um, Costco card. That's just arrogance and uh, egocentrism. I'm not even going to call her a sociopath. You know, because the definition of a sociopath is someone that can't empathize with other people. And clearly she was a sociopath. She's probably a fucking murderer, for crying out loud. Maybe not a murderer, but, you know, she's capable of it. If she doesn't care, if she doesn't care about other people's well-being, then who does to stop her from, you know... That just took a turn. I don't want to go down. That's not something to joke about. Have a good day. Bye.